This is Andrew, I'm Jeremy. We play Combat Kid, this is one of Core Sounds 2. Alright, so we are sitting here in Nosturi, Helsinki with a few guys from Combat Kid. Hello! How is it going for you guys at the moment? Oh, we're very tired at the moment. Uh, but, I don't know, we're happy to be back in this town because uh, first time we played here we had that amazing experience so I don't know it's always scary coming back because the bar is set so high so I don't know it's, I don't know we're, we're, we're bad we're good to play so. How has the tour gone generally? Uh, it's been a good one or? Yeah it's been great uh, it was kind of like a I don't know if you call it festival tour but like kind of we took we had like five really good yeah. bands going on the road with us uh, only us architects made it here to Finland but uh, the tour we were just on had us paying Misery Signals, Architects, and Outbreak. So it's like a pretty, pretty stocked uh, line. You know what I mean? oh, so uh, let's switch into the tattoo subject. Uh, uh, when did you get your first tattoo? How old were you guys? It's probably, I don't know, probably 10, 12 years ago. I think to try your best. I'm going to be my first one. I'm 21, 22, so yeah. So how did you end up taking it? Where did you get by the idea? Did you, did you admire some by the yeah, I mean, tattoo or I mean just when you're hanging around you know the punk rock hardcore scene you know it's you know, yeah, for some reason it's a more of a tattoo culture, so you know you see stuff you like and eventually you want to you wanna get tattoos too. Uh, it's just I don't know if it was one of the things you just did or, or what, but yeah. So, which was your first one? Uh, this one. I'm a, 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 that was my first one. If I would have got any earlier, I would have a lot of horrible tattoos that I would have a lot of regrets about. So I'm glad I waited until I was 21 or 20. So don't get them when you're 16. Wait. <laughs> so did you draw them by yourself or did you have my friend drawing it to you? Or? Um, usually just go into the, into the shop and you know, give the idea that I have my head to the you know, tattoo with me and you know, kind of come up with a, a general idea that we can just go from there. But, yeah. So do you have like some specific tattoo artist with which like always does a new tattoo in your world? Does it differ where you take them? Um, yeah, no. there's this one guy in our in our hometown um, that I pretty much always get all my stuff done from. I don't have too many random tour tattoos. Than, I don't know, but, uh, I, 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 I always kind of stick, I'm the kind of guy that sticks with what I know, so you know, I'm happy with what he, he does, so. So, does your tattoos like always have like some specific meaning to you, or how um, did you end up taking like Or, yes, I mean, I have, I have some that are better, like, you know, like serious personal moves, I have some that, um, you know, are kind of like jokes between friends, I, you know, they, they can, it, it's not a wide variety of range, there's not everything the same. Like, why did you get this? Why did I get that? I don't know. There's different reasons for it. That's something serious, something not. Uh, what's your reason, the most recent tattoo that you have taken? This one right here. That's my most recent one. So, what does it mean to you? Um, I guess it's kind of just like a, a thing from, I guess, just the, the touring that I've done, you know, in the, in the, you know, the time that we've had the band going around the world. I've done a lot of you know, cool people made a lot of good friends, and uh, you know, it's just sometimes you just stop and think, it's just like, I wonder if I'm ever going to see so and so again, you know, if we're ever going to play that town, or all of a the band brings up, or if something crazy happens, like I've made so many friends around the world, and it kind of frightens me that I, there's some people I'll never, you know, maybe see again, never see again, so you know, it's just like, you know, until we meet again, dagger through the, the earth that we kind of conquered to a degree, I guess, but yeah. So, uh, do you have any plans to take some uh, new tattoos well, at the moment? Do you have like some? Um, I don't find new ones. I mean, I have room, so <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really random with, with ideas. Like, I'll just be like, "Oh, here's a spot. Let's put a uh, that." There. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, sometimes I have things thought out. Sometimes yeah. I just want to fill in space because I don't like empty space. So, <laughs> so, do you ever like just go to the tattoo shop or how do you say tattoo store and? Like say that, for example, like invent me a new one or um, oh, 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 oh. here's my ideas for it. Yeah, I always go with at least a bit of an idea. So yeah, it's not like I just say. Like I mean, I've asked 
like it's me and him wrote this thing, guys. So I've asked Mark a couple times, and he's like, Is there any cool you have ever wanted a tattoo? And he's like, Yeah, but I made the weird shit, you wouldn't like it. So I'm like, Yeah. Why? Well, well, I, I don't know, he draws like weird. I, I don't know. He's uh, obsessed with horror movies. He's obsessed, yeah. But he loves crazy toys. And, yeah. So, where do you usually get like ideas to your tattoos? Uh, honestly, I'm really random. Like, I have a leg with pretty much like some good tattoos and some bad tattoos but pretty much like being on tour and meeting a tattoo artist like that day and being like hey man can I get a tattoo for cheap or, uh, or free or whatever but uh, yeah I have just a lot of random tour tattoos mostly jokes on my leg and kind of all kind of comes together and uh, most of my tattoos besides the guy uh, that Jeremy goes to this guy Mark that me and Jeremy go to uh, most of my tattoos are pretty, pretty random in that way. Just kind of stamps from our travels, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what does like tattoos represent to you? Uh, like in general. In general, uh, uh, probably nothing. Uh, like it's, it's more just like. Uh, yeah. It's a. It's like a fun not, nothing it's specific. Kind of, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's just for some people like you know like the way he was uh, almost describing it. It's almost like passport. You know. You just, you know so it's like you're a, you're in a certain place all the time, yeah. boom. Yeah. You know. So I, I don't think there's any like specific meaning to getting like my mom always says, why don't you just get that on a shirt? You know. So it's, it's like I don't know why I actually want it on my skin, but I just I, I don't know. I just I, I've always kind of just like to do art on skin. So. Yeah. Have you ever like regretted like, taking some of your tattoos? Is there like some tattoo on your body? I mean, there's there's things that I look and I'm like, I oh, you know, if I do it, I do it differently now. But at the time, it's like you know, it's it, it's you're in a specific you're in a moment of time. So it's like, I mean, unless it's something that's you know blatant, like you know, like if I was white power ten years ago and I had something that I'd obviously get that covered up and regret it. But it's, you know, it's nothing that you know, like that 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 kind of massive. You know, I think you should. Uh, See some of Kyle's tattoos. They have some pretty deep meanings on his leg. Yeah. Huh? Wait, we got a tattoo conversation going on. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take over the. Uh, uh, show me your dog. I bring my. Uh, my past night to the peak. Just yeah. We're having fun. Show me your. Uh, this is our drummer Kyle. Show me your Columbia tattoo. <laughs> this is what tattoos mean to us. Juan Valdez. The Colombian coffee guy riding this poisonous frog, which is their national <laughs> got animal instead of a. Uh, yeah. Then me and my uh, our merch girl, my friend Tanner, we got a Rocky Balboa tattoo. Um, I got I got a, I got a stoned koala. Uh, kangaroo. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the tour link. So uh, it's, it's easy to get a lot of tattoos when you're younger too. Yeah. You're just like oh, oh I got a free tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what's this goal next for you guys? What kind of summer plans do you want? Uh, we'll come to Europe this summer uh, and doing some festivals <coughs> and uh, hopefully you know. Pretty much after that, we'll do a couple more tours, but we'll probably start working on a new record this sometime throughout 2009. So you have plans to release maybe a new one, like in the beginning of the dark. Ready to make? Yeah, we're not gonna rush it. Just kind of see how the ideas flow. See, we're in the early stages now. So. But you still have like a record deal with Victory. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Very sweet. Okay. So, um, <laughs> thank you very much yeah, thanks. for doing this with us, and good luck for tonight. So, uh, anything you want to say as a closer to your European fans? Let us come back. Let us come please, back. We love it. Please, Alice, we love it. <laughs> this is our home. <laughs> Are